meaning you'll you'll see it coming, like I said, thousands, perhaps millions of times faster than is, is currently possible. Elon Musk has just confirmed Tesla's production plan for the long-awaited Model 2, set to launch in 2026. And the leaks from Tesla's factories are already fueling the buzz. A fresh snapshot from Giga Texas on September 17th, 2025 shows preparations clearly tied to Model 2. Massive deliveries are arriving, crews are installing next-gen supercharger stations, drilling switchgear mounts, laying underground conduits, and wiring Megapack No. 2 trailers to support high-volume production. Crash tests and equipment trials are also underway. Meanwhile in Nevada, Tesla is expanding its Gigafactory to scale 4680 cell output. Batteries expected to power the upcoming Model 2. So what exactly makes this production plan so special? How does Tesla's factory strategy and new manufacturing tech set the Model 2 apart? And more importantly, what will this mean for everyday drivers who are waiting for an affordable EV that actually works in real life? That's what we'll break down in today's video. You're watching Auto Gear Shift. If you want clear, fact-driven insights, this is where you'll find it. And hey, help us hit 10,105 subscribers by smashing that subscribe button and turning on the bell. Let's get there together faster than a Tesla Plaid on launch mode. Which Gigafactories will power Tesla Model 2? Elon Musk has made it clear that Gigafactory Mexico in Nuevo Leon will be the beating heart of the Model 2 program. Located just a few hours from the U.S. border, it combines logistical proximity to Tesla's largest market with labor costs that are often less than half those in the U.S., a formula that could shave thousands of dollars off per vehicle compared to building in Austin or Fremont. Production is projected to start in the range of 500,000 cars per year, with long-term capacity potentially doubling to 1 million units annually, on par with Volkswagen's Wolfsburg plant one of the largest car factories in the world. Supporting this push, Gigafactory Texas in Austin will act as the North American launch pad for the Model 2. It is expected to be the first site to implement Tesla's radical unboxed process, a modular assembly approach that Musk claims can cut factory floor space requirements by 40% compared to traditional automotive lines. While Austin won't match Mexico's eventual output, it will serve as the test bed before the new process scales globally. Meanwhile, Gigafactory Nevada is undergoing a $3.6 billion expansion that Tesla says will add 3,000 new jobs and two massive facilities, one dedicated to building 100 gigawatt hours of 4,680 battery cells annually, enough to power about 1.5 million EVs, and another to handle large-scale vehicle assembly. Since 2014, Tesla has already invested $6.2 billion in Nevada and hired over 11,000 people. And this expansion cements its role as one of the company's cornerstone suppliers of energy storage. For comparison, Toyota's largest battery plants operate closer to the 30 to 40 gigawatt hours range, showing just how aggressive Tesla's scale up is. Outside North America, Tesla is expected to localize Model 2 production after 2027 at Gigafactory Berlin and Shanghai. Berlin has already shown strong momentum, with factory head André Thierig confirming in a German press interview that sales have been robust enough to justify raising Q3 and Q4 production targets. Giga Berlin currently exports vehicles to more than 30 countries, even reaching Canada and further ramp-ups will give Tesla a low-cost gateway into Europe. Similarly, Giga Shanghai, which in 2024 produced over 900,000 vehicles, will be well-positioned to handle Asia-Pacific demand once localized Model 2 tooling is introduced. Put together, this network of plants – Mexico, Texas, Nevada, Berlin, and Shanghai – could give Tesla more than 2.5 million units of annual Model 2 capacity by the late 2020s, a figure that would rival the total yearly output of established giants like Ford or Hyundai. So here's a quick question for you. If you had to choose, which Gigafactory do you think will have the bigger impact on the Model 2? Comment the name down below. Could it be Mexico, 
Nevada, or another factory? Tell us why in the comments. Also, we've got more videos covering every angle of the Model 2's production and future features. Check them out on our channel if you're curious. When will Model 2 actually hit the market? And how big could the launch be? Elon Musk has committed to 2026 as the start of production for Tesla's long-promised $25,000 Model 2. And the timeline is now backed by hard construction evidence at Tesla's newest plants. Gigafactory Mexico in Nuevo Leon is designed as the global hub, and early estimates suggest that once the lines are operational, it could push out between 250,000 and 500,000 units in its first year. For context, that's more than Ford managed with the Mustang Mach-E since its 2020 launch, and it's nearly equal to Volkswagen's entire global EV volume in 2024. If Tesla clears the mid-range target of 500,000 vehicles, the Model 2 alone would outsell every other electric model currently on the market. Texas will be the second pillar, though its role in 2026 will be more measured. Industry trackers expect Austin to ship fewer than 100,000 Model 2s in the first year, focused almost entirely on the U.S. market. The key here isn't raw volume, but the debut of Tesla's new unboxed process, a modular production system meant to cut assembly time in half compared to the Model 3 and Model Y lines. If the system proves successful, Tesla can double throughput without proportionally increasing factory size, which would put enormous pressure on rivals who still rely on conventional linear assembly. By 2027 or 2028, Tesla's expansion curve steepens, with Mexico and Texas both scaling toward maximum capacity, combined output could realistically hit 1 million vehicles annually. To put that in perspective, it took Tesla's Model 3 nearly four years after launch to reach a similar cumulative production figure, while Toyota's Corolla, a global benchmark in affordable cars, averages around 1.1 million sales per year. If Berlin and Shanghai are retooled on schedule by 2028, the Model 2 could push total capacity to 1.5 to 2 million units per year, a scale no EV has ever touched. This trajectory would transform the Model 2 into the first electric car to break out of the premium niche and enter the mass market territory long dominated by Corolla, Civic, and Golf. It would also mark a turning point for Tesla itself. Moving from a company selling just over 1.8 million cars in 2023 to potentially more than doubling that figure within a single model cycle. The real question now isn't whether Tesla can build the Model 2. It's whether competitors can keep up once the car starts rolling out of Mexico in 2026. Which battery technology will power the Model 2? And why does it matter? To hit the $25,000 target, Tesla's most practical option is lithium iron phosphate. LFP packs are already proven on the Model 3 and Y, cost around $80 to $90 per kilowatt hour versus $120 plus for nickel chemistries and last for more than 3,000 cycles. A 50 kilowatt hour pack would be several thousand dollars cheaper than nickel based cells while still delivering about 250 miles of range, exactly what Tesla needs for mass market buyers. Sodium ion is the wild card. Early data shows costs could fall near $60 per kilowatt hour, about 20 to 30% lower than LFP, with better cold weather performance. That makes it an attractive option for Europe, where winter range loss has slowed EV adoption. If Berlin ramps sodium ion after 2027, Tesla could undercut rivals like VW and Renault on both price and practicality. Aluminum ion, despite the hype, is still locked in lab research. No large-scale prototypes exist, and it's unlikely to appear in the first wave of Model 2. The likely outcome, then, is a layered approach. LFP, as the backbone for global production starting in 2026, sodium ion as the potential upgrade in Europe once the chemistry matures, and aluminum ion reserved for the long game. If that roadmap plays out, Tesla won't just be competing on price. It will be using battery strategy as a weapon, driving costs below what Toyota, Volkswagen, or BYD can match at scale. 
That's it for today. What do you think? Will Tesla really hit 2026 on schedule? Could the Model 2 become the electric Corolla of this decade? And which battery tech do you see powering the affordable EV future? Share your thoughts below. We'd love to hear from you. If you found this breakdown useful, hit the like button, subscribe to Auto Gear Shift, and turn on the bell so you won't miss our next deep dive. Let's push past 10,105 subscribers together, faster than a Tesla off the line.